Okay, for number two, uh, we're going to be learning how to generate exponential models. All right, we're going to be given a, a real life scenario, and we're going to be using our formula for exponential uh, decay and growth functions to generate models. Question two reads, a high school sponsored um, a badminton tournament. After each round, one half of the players were eliminated. If there were 64 players at the start of the tournament, which equation models the number of players left after three rounds? Okay, so let's go ahead and write down our formula first. So this is going to be either exponential growth or decay, all right? So in this particular case, is going to, it is going to be exponential, exponential um, decay. Okay. All right. So how do we know that we're dealing with an exponential decay scenario? Well, you just have to look at the problem. Okay. Decay indicates reduction. Alrighty. When something decays, it reduces an amount. In this particular problem. Players are being what? Eliminated. Elimination indicates that it's a reduction. Okay? And we know that is exponential because we have an halving of a halving of the original. So when you have it, when you're repeating something, you're, you're scaling something by repeated multiplication, it's, uh, it's going to be an exponential growth or um, decay. All right? So when you multiply it by a common ratio over and over again, you keep multiplying, multiplying by a common ratio, that's going to be growth. And if you keep dividing by a specific ratio factor, I meant to say in a ratio, by a specific factor over and over again, that's uh, exponential decay. Okay, so in this case, it's half of, so you keep multiplying by one half over and over and over and over and over again, so that's exponential decay. But if it's a scenario where you keep adding or subtracting, now in that case, you have a linear growth or a linear um, reduction model. Okay? All right. So uh, let's go ahead and write down the formula for exponential decay. It is y equals a times 1 minus r raised to the t power. Okay? Let's talk about what the different parts of this exponential decay model is. First of all, how do we know it's decay? The operation before the um, factor tells us, okay? If it's an addition, then it's an exponential growth. If it's subtraction, then that means it's decay, all right? Uh, okay, so A represents the initial amount, what you started with, initial amount or number. And then R represents your decay rate. By how much does it get reduced by every time? And something to keep in mind, extremely important, is that the decay rate has to be in decimal format. Okay? The decay rate as a decimal. So sometimes it might be presented in, a, in percentage form. Um, or a fraction, like in this problem, you have to convert it to a decimal, okay? So that's easier to compute. All right, and then um, what do we have? Next, we have T. T represents the time, time period that you want to calculate how much decay happened, and Y represents the final amount. All right. Sometimes you, you have to find your final amount. Other times you're just um, generating a model. In this particular case, we're generating a model uh, because we just have Ys. Actually, we're setting up a, something, a function that can help us to find the final amount. We're not going all the way. All right. So this is not actually a model. It's just a setup. Okay. So um, which equation will help you find a number of players left after three rounds? So we're just going to plug in all the values that we know and use it to uh, generate what y will be equal to upon evaluation. All right. So let's start with the initial amount. How many students were there initially? The initial amount, which is A, is, let's see, 
if there were 64 players at the start, so that's the initial amount, 64, that's your A value right there. Um, at what rate does E decay? Do the number of students reduce by? The decay rate, which is also known as R, is half, right? So what is half? One half uh, in a fraction form, one over two, if one writes it as a decimal, is 0 0.5. Time was the time period that we're looking for here. The time period that um, elapsed T is three rounds. Okay, so the time interval is three rounds. So the final amount is what we're looking for. So the final amount Y is Y. It's a variable. It's an unknown. So let's rewrite our formula again so we don't mess this up. Um, the formula again is y equals a times quantity 1 minus r raised to the t power. Okay, now let's substitute. y is just y because that's what we're looking for. The initial amount is 64 times 1 minus the decay rate of 0 0.5 raised to the time period, which is 3. Bam. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your final answer for uh, question number two. Let's box that. And that is, uh, what is it? This is option number one. Bam. Option one is the answer for this one.